Hi! In this video, you'll learn the basics about verbs in Basque. I'll tell you beforehand the three takeaways. Number one, a verb is a word for someone doing an action. Number two, verbs in Basque are actually made up of two words. Number three, in Basque, there are orange verbs and orange red verbs. As usual, we will be explaining everything without using any complicated words. So, let's go! What's a verb? A verb is just a word which describes someone doing something. Things like I walk, you jump, or she dreams are all verbs. But also things like I am walking, you are jumping, she is dreaming. Let's have a closer look at this second group of verbs in English. You'll notice that the verb is actually made up of two words am walking, are jumping, is dreaming. You'll notice that in the second word we have the word for the central idea walk, jump, dream, which I have marked in blue, plus this ing thing which is the same for all verbs walking, jumping, dreaming. This means that if I give you a random verb, let's say run, you can automatically build this second word, which is running. The first word, however, is a bit trickier. You see that it depends on the person we are talking about. If I say I, then I have to say I am. If I say you, then I have to say you are. I cannot say something like I are or she am. All of this is pretty obvious in English. But now let's have a look at the verb in Basque. Verbs in Basque are quite similar to this group of English verbs like I am walking or you are jumping. They are made up of two words. The first word has this central idea, which I have marked in blue, plus this yellow thing, which is added to it. In Basque, this yellow thing is a bit more irregular than in English. But right now, you don't have to worry about that. Just see that this yellow thing is always there after the blue thing. And then we have a second word, which depends on the person we are talking about. If in English I say I, then I have to say am. If in Basque I say ni, then I have to say nice. If I say you, I have to say are. If I say su, I have to say sara. The only difference between English and Basque is that the two words come in the opposite order in, in Basque. Other than that, you can think of them as if it was a normal English verb. Now, in Basque, as well as in English, there are two groups of verbs. These two groups have official names, which you will find in grammar books. However, you don't need to read grammar books nor to use the official names to learn Basque. So let's just call them orange verbs and orange red verbs. Now, what's an orange verb? An orange verb is a verb in which there's only one person or one group of people doing something. The examples which we have seen till now were all examples of orange verbs in English and also of orange verbs in Basque. If I say I am walking, then the action is all about me. I am the one who is walking and that's all. Both in English and in Basque, we have an orange word which depends on the people or group of people we are talking about. If it's we who are doing something, then we'll use are in English and gara in Basque. If it's they who are doing something, then we'll say they are in English and we'll say dida in Basque. The second group of verbs are the orange-red verbs. Now, in these verbs, in these actions, there are two people or two groups of people which have something to do with the action. For instance, if I say, I am seeing him, then the action is about me seeing someone, but also about him being seen by me. Therefore, the verb see is an example of an orange-red verb. Now, in English, orange-red verbs work actually just like orange verbs, because the word, the orange word am, does not depend on who is being seen. I can say, I am seeing him, I am seeing you, or I am seeing them. And 
In all three cases, the orange word am doesn't change. It doesn't matter who is being seen. In English, it just matters who is seeing someone else. Now, how is it in Basque? Well, in Basque, it is a bit different. If I say Nick ikusten dut, the dut word tells me not just that I am seeing someone, but also that he is being seen by me. If I were to say I am seeing you, then I would have to say Nick ikusten saitut. The word saitut tells us that I am seeing someone and that you are being seen. And if I were to say I am seeing them, then I would say Nick ikusten ditut. That means the orange red word tells us that I am the one seeing and that they are the one being seen. What does all of this mean? Well, it means that instead of having a list of words like we had for orange verbs, I am, you are, etc., we have a table of words. We have to see who is seeing, that's the red part, and who is being seen, that's the orange part. If you are seeing us, then we say gaitusu. If we are seeing them, then we say titugu. It is definitely not as difficult as it seems. An important point is to notice that the words for the cases in which he or she is seeing someone do not actually have a red part in the word. Now is the sign for me and he sees me uses the word now. However, this is actually an orange red verb and in order that you don't forget that I have added a blank space which I have marked red. You will, whenever you see this, you will automatically know that it is an orange red verb and that the one who is doing the action is he or she. Well, that's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed the explanation. Bye.